Now, looking at how widespread it is, I mean, looking at just the share scope, I mean, yes, indeed, you already have uh, what they call that now. The name of your commission already, you know, streamlines what sort of corruption you're looking at, Economic and Financial Crimes uh, Commission. That's the name of your, of your organization. I'm wondering, what exactly are you, what areas of economic and financial crime are you narrowing down on which you consider will be the most most effective in stemming the tide of corruption? Well, when it comes to um, generally, by and large, is to deal with um, the issue of uh, the utilization of the funds, whether it's a private sector corruption, whether it is public sector corruption. You look at uh, avenues in which they are laundering these proceeds of crime, and that is very important. Uh, if you look at um, the provision of the criminal code, for instance, uh, and the rationale behind that um, if you are charged to court and a conviction is cured on somebody that is charged with stealing, is seven years imprisonment. But receiving stolen goods, if charged and convicted, you'll be given 14 years. Because without those that are receiving the stolen goods, the thief will not steal. So we are looking towards, you know, dealing with this, uh, what we call the gatekeepers, you know, in money laundering, to deal with them, to ensure that we have, uh, you know, a very uh, rigorous and effective, uh, you know, control over them. Because we believe that once we get that straight, you know, those that are stealing will find it very difficult to even steal. Because of course, you know, they will begin to think, how are they going to even launder the process of crime? And that is the area where we are working with the National Assembly to ensure that uh, we have um, the requisite uh, laws to, to enable us to you know, achieve that. And of course, you know, you know that uh, we have the special control unit against uh, money laundering domicile in the EFCC, and we are partnering, of course, with the Ministry of uh, Industries in that regard. And, and I think that is the way to go because uh, one of the problems that we have here now in this country is the real estate. 90 to 100 percent of um, resources are being laundered through the real estate, but they are, they, of course, they are being regulated by the land bill, but it's not enough in terms of how they make their returns to the special control unit against money laundering. There are a lot of issues there that uh, we can talk all day about, but I think to me that is one area where if we get it right, we find it very, uh, 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 you will tend to see that uh, it will not be fashionable for you to have this grand scale corruption. And, uh, and uh, we will tend to see it uh, easing out uh, with time, God willing.